Now, the multiplexer is opposite of uh, multiplexer. It functions in the reverse order the way that uh, the multiplexer works. It has a single input or uh, has one input and multiple or uh, two power n outputs. It has a switching mechanism whereby the input line is connected to any or either of the available outputs. And thus, uh, the multiplexer is also referred to as a data distributor. And the easiest way to visualize what we are talking about is using the analogy of a mechanical demultiplexer. And a mechanical demultiplexer would look like this. There is one input line and there are multiple output lines. And then we have a rotary switch that can connect either of the available output lines to our single input line. Of course, we do not work with the mechanical switch. Ours is a digital circuit switch that is made up of uh, basic logic gates that are built to perform 1 to M or 1 to the power 2N the multiplexer. But in order to select the four output lines, we use uh, two line select lines or the, we require two select lines because we are saying 2 to power 2 will be 4. Therefore, the number of select lines is given by n. And in this case, where m is equals to 4, we see that n is equals to 2. And therefore, we would draw the truth table of such a circuit as follows. We have two select lines and we have four output lines. We are asking ourselves when or how will the single output line be connected to the four possible output lines and we simply say that when we select we set our select lines to be zero zero then we say that our output zero is the one that will be connected to our input line when we set our select lines to be at zero one then our output y1 is the one that will be connected to the input line and similarly when we set our select lines to be 1 1 our output y3 is connected to the input or single input line therefore we can write the boolean expressions for from this truth table as uh, our y0 is going to be true if we select s1 and s0 as bar and this connects you to the input line so we can say that is our first expression the other expression is y1 is going to be seen when we have y s1 is 0 and s1 is 1 and that connects us to our input line so similarly we can see that y3 can be expressed as the input of s1 and s0 and i in y1 is s1 s0 and i in and we need this code to be 0 1 and y2 is simply the same as i in and this code is a bar so all we are saying is that this select line can give you the code that will connect the output to the required input input and that code is the one that the one that we feed to our select lines. We can look at the git level implementation of the demultiplexer and uh, it is simply coming from the equation that we have demonstrated and we have seen that y0 is given by s1 s0 bar bar i in. The only addition thing that we have is our chip enable pin that works the same way like we did with the multiplexer is an active low input that will act as a switch to turn our multiplexer on or off and therefore that this equation is the one that we are using to implement this and gate operation and therefore you can see that the inputs are inverted s1 this is inverted s0 and this is our input line and the only thing that we are adding there is our chip enable pin that is receiving a zero when you see it is active low and when it receives a zero it becomes a one and a one is fed to our add gates finally the symbol that we use for representing uh, the multiplexer is this one 
similar to what we did with the multiplexer it has four output lines one data line or one input line the chip in number and two select lines and just like we did with the multiplexer we can perform a multiplexer tree such that we can be able to achieve a higher order multiplexer using lower order the multiplexers and this may be achieved in a similar manner as such so the details of that design is beyond the scope of this course all we need to do is that can we be able to analyze this multiplexer tree to determine if we need to output our input at y3 what do we require we just need to set this one as 0 1 1 representing a a 3 and therefore that 3 where does it go the the 1 1 goes here and there and 0 goes to here and 0 goes to this chip with number pin of the second multiplexer therefore this becomes activated 0 comes in here and becomes 1 and therefore 1 deactivates this uh, lower the multiplexer and therefore once we have sent 1 1 here this will not give us anything because it has been deactivated by the chip in a pin but finally when we need a 3 3 a 3 3 is going to be given by uh, we have seen that y3 is given by s1 s0 and i in and therefore if the, our data input is going to be displayed at the y3 just as we have uh, illustrated